Welcome back everyone, this is Traycon here, the gaming statistician, with another dungeon boss video for you. So guilds have really uh, kicked off here. If you go into the global chat, you can see that general chat, there's always somebody looking for guilds. Could I join a guild? I'm level 29 and I have good stats. Uh, I invited all three of you to the guild, go check your mail, level 15 active. Uh, there's always people looking for guilds right now. So it's a good time to uh, be a new guild and uh, find active members. Uh, right now, uh, the guild fee, which is our channel guild and has at least uh, maybe 10 people, uh, 10 viewers in it, and uh, still some space for some more. And there are some people who have joined who aren't as active as I like, so I'll give them a day or two to see if they're active. And uh, if not, we'll slowly uh, get rid of the inactive players and uh, try to get uh, more active players. Because if you go to, um, let's see if I can actually find this here. So info, leaderboards. If you go to uh, gold, guild crowns earned, it's really nice rewards. I think you get a week to do this as a guild. You know, number one ranked guild, we're probably not going to have that. You know, you're going to have to do that. You're going to have to have everyone get all of their daily quests every day for the guild. And But uh, that's really nice. Five free heroic summons, which is huge. I mean, that's basically like 1,500 gems, right? And then you also get a ton of gold, 25 tokens for some hero, uh, stamina. And this is really what I think, though, that we could do pretty regularly, right? Earn 6,000 crowns. So as long as you earn 6,000 crowns, you get really nice rewards. Five tokens, there's one free heroic summon, so that's the big deal. Stamina, and a decent amount of gold. So that's really the goal every week, earn 6,000 crowns. I think we're going to get there soon. We might not get it the first week because we made the guild a little bit late. But next week, we're definitely going to be shooting for that 6,000 crowns and having 15, 50 active members to get there. And... You know, if you have 50 members, they they only need to get 20 uh, crowns a day, which is really easy. So there's what I've seen so far is there's two really easy quests a day, where as long as you get on, you can do them. And then there's one difficult quest a day, like this one, Guild Lucky number 7. So to get this 10 crowns, you have to get to the 7th floor of the Tower of Ponage, which is still very doable, but it's not just a freebie, right? It may not happen even if you try to do it. So most people should be able to do that, but it's a little bit more difficult. So 30 crowns isn't guaranteed, but 20 should be happening every day. And I think that's what we'll get in the guild. So with this video now, um, there's a new hero, uh, Augustus, and I really want to uh, try to get him. I'm going to kind of make this part of the Let's Play series again. And uh, so I'm going to talk about two things. One, I'm going to go for uh, this new hero, uh, Augustus, which is right here. I have a few tokens from him from the event, but uh, I really want to try to unlock him, so I'm going to go ahead and do 10 heroic rolls. Don't know if I'm going to get him. We're going to see, crossing my fingers. And then also I'm going to just mention um, with the campaign, uh, I'm going to really focus on this for the next few days. There's been so much other stuff going on in the game. I haven't been doing really anything in the campaign. I've just started now moving through chapter 14, so finish that really easily. Now I'm moving through chapter 15. Gonna go to chapter 16 pretty soon. All of these dungeons right now are just really, really easy. I just haven't been doing the campaign because there's been so much other stuff to do and trying to get tokens for all the other heroes that I want. But now I'm really gonna try to um, get my campaign uh, to, to where it should be at, at a reasonable chapter. And also with uh, leveling, I'm gonna go ahead and try to slow down my player leveling here. So before I was trying to get to 60 really as fast as I could. Now I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to hand in any more of these quests where you get like 100 experience for leveling 5 heroes or 75 experience for um, you know, gaining 6 hero abilities. Those things I'm not going to hand in anymore. Slow down my leveling a little bit. I think it's going to help a lot in the tower. So it definitely helps in PvP, but I think it will help even more in the tower. Because I've been going through and leveling, leveling up all my heroes. So at least they can take some hits. So I pretty much brought them all up to at least level 40 with potions. And um, now I just want to keep continue saving gold and slowly giving them uh, better and better abilities. So I'm going to slow my leveling down and focus on that. With all that said now, let's go in. Let's look at the uh, heroic summons here. Ten summons on the way. Really hoping I get Augustus. Uh, from what I've heard, 
he is really, really useful. So he's a healer and a tank, which is just a great combination for uh, the Tower of Ponage, where you know you want healers to be able to survive as long as they can, and then that way they will help get you to those final uh, floors in the tower. So Chief Nub Nub and Augustus, I think, are the two strongest for the tower. Where Chief Nub Nub's pretty durable. He is, you know, also a healer, really good healer actually. And uh, Augustus, I think, is going to fall into that same category. So let's go ahead here. Ten by summons. Here we go. We're hoping for it. We're guaranteed at least one hero. Hopefully, it's Augustus. Unfortunately, there are multiple heroes I need, so there's a high chance that I'll not get him. Starting out with a purple chest. All right, I'll take it. Right. You're going to get a bunch of celestial evos. Always good, and uh, six tokens, a lot of gold. All right, gold chest here. Okay, a couple celestial evos again. So one nice thing about these is you, you get a lot of celestial evos when you do these heroic rolls, so they're really, really nice. Uh, I think this is the third one. I already lost track, so I'm pretty sure this is the third one. Yokozuna, this is the second time we've seen tokens for him. I think this is the fourth one coming up. Uh, still... Now I'm starting to get a little jittery here. Okay, so we got four tokens for Augustus, but that's not really what we want, right? We want a full unlock. Uh, another another gold chest. We're guaranteed a hero, so we're going to see who it is. Um, wow, that's actually pretty good, right? For a gold chest. A uh, bunch of... Oh, no. Overlord Executum. That's about as bad as it could get. That guy I loved probably the first 36 hours I played the game. I thought to myself, this is the best hero ever. And then I started getting other heroes. And I was like, okay, I don't care about this guy anymore. So unfortunately, that counts as a hero unlock. So we cross our fingers. Hopefully I have other hero unlock coming. And then that's not all I get, or it will be really disappointing. So gold chest. All right, so four for Masuta Kira. I'll take it. I don't even know how many I have. I might just have three or four left. I think after this, I might just have three left, maybe two. Uh, now I'm starting to get worried. Okay, maybe just two left. Another purple chest. I might only have one left after this. I didn't want to click it. I'm worried that I'm not going to get him, and it'll just be really disappointing. So we got six for Ignis the Mad. Uh, Celestial Evos is always good. Oh, Yasmin Bloom, Celestial Evos. Maybe I can um, get her her final ascension. I don't know how much more I need, but here we go. Oh man, I think this is my last. That this might be my last one. So I don't think that we got Augustus, but that's unfortunately part of the game, right? There's a luck factor. I didn't get who I wanted. Got a bunch of other stuff. Really kind of lame for the uh, hero unlock there for 10 tokens for pretty much my least favorite hero in the game right now. Um, but that's how it goes. Uh, hopefully, I'm sure I'll get Augustus at some point. That's why I enjoy this game. You know, you're slowly leveling heroes, slowly getting heroes. It just takes time, and you don't always get what you get. I'll be back tomorrow, though. I keep playing. I know I'll get it eventually. It just takes time. So thanks for watching again, and peace.